Hey guys! I hope that you guys are doing amazing wherever you are in the world. My name is Boom Shekha and I'm so grateful for all your support in the form of comments, subscriptions and all of that. I am absolutely, absolutely grateful. If you guys want to support me further, obviously you can do that by going to my Patreon site. The link is in the description below. And you can give me a dollar a month or five dollars a month, whatever you guys prefer. In this video, I want to speak to you guys about something that I've been noticing for myself, right? And I always try to share these random learnings with you guys because I think I have this belief that if I'm going through something, probably a hundred thousand other people are going through exactly the same thing. Now, perhaps I don't know all of those hundred thousand people, but even if I know a hundred of them and if I can share this knowledge with them, and they can be like, oh, I'm not alone. I feel like that would be a major, major transformational moment. And I've noticed this for myself as well, that I've noticed many times that I thought I was alone in experiencing something. Being an INFJ is one big thing. Um, but I realized there are hundreds of thousands of other people going through exactly the same thing. And that made me feel less alone. Right? So that's the reason I share a lot of this stuff, just in case you guys are wondering. Recently, I've noticed that there is there are no coincidences on this beautiful planet and this universe that we live in i absolutely notice that more and more the more i live on this planet and yeah, the, the longer i spent in this life the more i notice that this becomes true further and further and further right and the main essence of this idea is that there are no coincidences which means that you are meeting every person that you're meeting for a reason and because this idea is becoming so prominent in my mind, I am being extremely alert and careful whenever I meet someone, right? So if I do meet someone, whoever they might be, it doesn't matter if they're a boy or girl or like a female or a male or um, a child or an adult or an older person or whoever they are, whatever they are, and not only just human, but obviously beings in general, um, insects and, and snails and... Uh, there's a lot of snails here right now because of the rain um, and roaches and um, mosquitoes or whatever it might be, right? Like every being that comes into your life, there's a reason they came into your life. Now, of course, if it's a mosquito, what are they going to teach you? Very little because they can't communicate with you. But if it's a human that's coming into your life, um, they're probably going to communicate with you. They're going to say certain words, certain sentences, certain phrases. And I think, I think in my in my life, I've noticed that every single person who says whatever they're saying is saying those words for me. And they're saying it because I need to learn something from those words. Now, of course, this kind, kind of maybe can become a little bit too intense because you meet a new person and they say something, and you're like, whoa, this, is this for me? Then what does it mean, etc. Et so you can kind of go through, you can go down the rabbit hole very fast and you can get enamored in your thoughts and you can just go really insane very fast, yeah? So I try not to overdo it. But if I keep on meeting the same person over and over again, um, and that does happen, as I said, as well, very often to me, where I don't deliberately make it happen, but it ends up happening, that I meet them at one event, and I'll go randomly to another event, and they're there as well, and I'll go to another, and they're there as well, and I'm like, all right, cool. And so then I'll sit down with them, and I'll, I'll talk to them, and they'll, they'll say certain things. And I'll be really alert, as I said. I'll be alert to the fact that something they're saying is important for me to hear. Something they're saying is important for me to hear, especially if it irks me, especially if it irritates me, especially if it's something I don't want to hear. All right. I'll give you a quick example because examples work better, I think, in my opinion. So I was at an event a couple of days ago and I was sitting in front of this um, lady and she reminds me a lot of, of a friend who door slammed me or let go of our friendship a couple of years ago, right? And so for me, whenever I listen to this lady, because her, her accent is very similar to my friend's, and the way she behaves and the way she speaks, the way she moves her hands, very, very similar to my friend. And instantaneously, I start feeling this irkiness. I start feeling, this, ugh, I don't want to be around this person. Not because of her, it's not her fault. And I always feel bad because I'm like, it's not your fault. It's because of, of my stuff that I have, of course, that I still have because of this individual. So I'm really trying every single time I meet her because I'm meeting her a lot, which of course is a sign as well. So I'm always trying to be present and I'm really trying not to be like, all right, just be present with this human being. She is not that other person that you're having issues with. She is her own human being and she has something to teach you, right? Of course, one of the best lessons she has to teach me is that I still haven't gotten over that friendship and I need to have closure over it. 
But another thing that she teaches taught me when we met last was the fact that um, I need to call my mother, right? And something she said about missing her mother, etc., etc., reminded me that I miss my mother a lot and I wanted to talk to her, right? And so as soon as that meeting ended, as soon as I was able to get out of there, I called my mother. I was walking home, it was raining, I had an umbrella in one hand, I had the phone in the other hand, and I was walking in the rain, people looked at me like I was crazy because I was excited and I was, I think, yelling into the phone because when Indian people talk to each other, we yell. <laughs> a lot of cultures do that, but we particularly, my family, we yell, love talking to each other in a loud volume. People think that we're angry, but we're not. We're just having excited time and talking to each other and we're just happy, right? And so Thai, Thai people are not used to that. So they looked at me like I was insane. I really tried to tamp down my volume, but I was so excited to talk to her. I was just happy. I was just excited. And this excitement came because I realized that this person had to teach me something, right? And she, she taught me that I love my mother a lot. And even despite all the madness and all of the, all of the fights that we've had over time, I love her. And I want to spend time with her and I want to talk to her, right? And I wouldn't have called my mother if I hadn't had that lesson. I wouldn't have called my mother if I was not open to the lesson, is more accurate. If I wasn't open to the idea that this person has something to teach me and I'm going to listen to it and I'm going to take it on as my next mission, right? Not a thought mission or it could be a thought mission but a physical mission, whatever it might be, right? If I was closed off and I was like, no, this person has nothing to teach me because yeah, whatever, what are they going to teach me? I know everything kind of thing. But sometimes I don't just go into this mode, right? Or as, as a human being as well, we have pride and we're like, no, 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 I know everything. It's fine. You know, I don't need to learn anything. I realize that the more I meet new, new people, the more I realize that they have everyone, actually. Every single person that I meet has something to teach me. Every single person. Even if I believe when I first look at them, oh, they have nothing to teach me. The more I believe that, the more I have to be like, all right, you're being an idiot. Obviously, they have something to teach you as well. So stay open. Stay alert to what they have to teach you. What lesson are they providing for you, right? And if you meet that person over and over again, either the same lesson, lesson is going to be repeated if you are not listening to it, which happens to me a lot, or they're meant to teach you many different lessons and that's why they meet, you, meet up with you again and again. That's why the universe makes you meet up again and again, right? Because as I said, there are really, in my opinion, no coincidences. There are Seriously, the more I learn about the world, the more I realize there are no coincidences. Every little freaking thing is happening because there's a reason for it. Every little thing. And the more I learn about the universe, the more I realize it's truth. And so the fact that you're meeting this person once is obviously there's a reason for it. If you keep on meeting them again and again, there's absolutely a reason for it. And if you keep on getting the same lesson again and again, there is a reason for it, absolutely. Right. So I've said the same sentence over and over again, just so that you guys understand the meaning and importance of it. Right. So this is what I ex recommend that you guys do in your life as well, is that if you keep on meeting the, a particular person over and over again or the particular lesson over and over again, realize that the universe is trying to knock some head in some sense into your head. Right. He's like the universe is like, tuck, tuck, knock, 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 you know, listen up, pay attention. There's something that you need to learn here but you are not being alert to it, you're not listening right now, so pay attention, right? That's what the universe is trying to tell you. And so again, as I said, the same lesson might be repeated, the same person might be repeated, or you might just meet this person once, just once, just randomly out of nowhere, you're walking down the street and this person stops you and says something and that's the lesson. And you're never gonna get that lesson again from that particular person, perhaps from other places, but that person's never going to meet you again. And you got that lesson and you have to be alert. That's one of the reasons why I'm really trying to not zone out, especially in conversations or in life in general, but also in conversations because there, there are lessons coming at us all the time. Some of them we get. Some of them are like, yeah, of course, this is a lesson. I get it. I get it, universe. Some of them are like, no, I don't want this. I don't want this lesson because I'm scared of it. So then also the universe is like, yeah, okay, no, I don't care. You're still going to have to take it. And lastly, we get lessons or the lessons are sent to us, but we are not alert enough. So we're not paying attention and they disappear, right? And I think that's such a waste, right? The universe is trying to talk to you. The universe is sending you a lesson, doing all this stuff to get you this information. And you're like, no, nah, I'm not going to pay attention, right? <laughs> so I think that's a kind of a waste of time. So I recommend as much as possible. Of course, I'm not saying go around like with... with high vision goggles on and just be so alert all the time it's impossible to do that it's very tiring 
But if you are in a conversation with a person that keeps on reappearing, or if you notice that there's something, that if you get goosebumps, or if your intuition pipes up, or all of a sudden you feel like you need to be alert, be alert, because there's a lesson coming at you, and you need to take it in. Okay, the universe is always sending us lessons. And if you don't take it the first time around, the universe is cool. I love her because she's always like, all right, if you don't get it the first time, I'm going to send it to you again. She's very forgiving. And so she'll send it to us over and over and over again. So it's fine if you don't get it the first time. Some lessons don't, as I said, just come once, which is fine as well. But most of them will come over and over again. Right. And so be ready for it because you have to be alert to accept it, to receive it, to understand it. Okay. I hope this makes sense. It's an abstract abstract topic, but I think it's so important, especially for me. It was such a revelation, and I hope it is for you as well. If you guys want to support me further, obviously you can do that by going off to my Patreon site. The link is in the description below. And I shall see you guys in the next episode, in the next video. Bye for now.